Hello everybody, how are we doing today? Today I'm going to talk about frequently asked questions and the topic is going to be about diagrams. I hear, I see a lot of questions about diagrams and everything related around diagrams. That's what this video is gonna be about. First question is what is the best diagram to start with? And my answer really is you should have already read the tutorials. The answer is in there. I'm going to give you the answer, but you should go through the tutorials because there's a lot of good information in there. And you know, you need to spend a little time learning this before you actually use it. All right, so I suggest, and it's right up here next to the Facebook group on Money Robot. All right, so the best diagram, I'm gonna to have to get to it here. Let's clone this. All right, right here is how you get into it. All right, so there's some other questions related to this. So this I'm showing you how to actually get to that area. So diagram editor. And yeah, let's make it bigger. All right, so the, the best and really the one that they suggest is the 132. And this is what it looks like. It's the 13, I'm sorry, 1312. And this is what it looks like. So when you first start, you're basically, for the first couple of weeks, you're basically in building account mode. It takes a while to build accounts because the Money Robot system has to, it has to do emails, it has to set up all the accounts, everything. I think the email takes the most time or whatever, it just takes, a, it's an extra step. Uh, because when you reuse the account, it basically doesn't need the email, it's just gonna go into those accounts with that email and do the, do the job. So the emails must take a good while to do. All right, so another question that I saw that's really not on my list, but another question I saw is what do I do after my first campaign? Well, your first campaign is not the end of all. You know, it you need to do campaigns every day or whenever that one's finished, set up a new one. Um, you can set it up for a new keyword or use the same keyword, just make sure you put a different article in, all right? After you do a few of those, then you could come over and do this one, which is basically the same thing. It just has some social signals to it. All right, bookmarks. I think the only thing you get from these are Twitter things, but uh, at least you'll have some bookmarks. You're, st you're starting to build up some bookmarks because we use that a lot. All right, so that is how, that is the first two diagrams that you should use. And you use the one, three, 12 first, for a couple jobs and then use this one. Uh, something else that just came to my mind is people ask, and I'll probably put this in another video too, but since I'm here, people ask, do I make a different accounts for different subjects? And the answer is yes. You don't use the same account for every different niche. That's not how it works. It's not good to do that. All right. So the next question on my list here is how to import a diagram code. All right, so you can see the diagram ID right here. All right, so right here it says import new diagram. All right, so I have some that actually I haven't done yet. So I'm gonna show you how to do these. That's all you do. And there it is. Basically copy, paste, it puts it in there, and then, you know, it's in your list. Then I got a very pretty good sized list. All right, so I'm gonna do one more just to make sure you got it. It's pretty easy, but uh, I might have this one already. Yeah, I think I do. And there it is. That's it. That's all there is to it. All right, so another question is, how can I make my own diagram? All right, well, that's not hard either. You come up here, make sure you, you can actually, say you see a diagram and you wanna add some extra stuff to it. You can use that, take a photo of it, like a screenshot, and then build it. You know, you basically have the whole setup and then you can just add on what you want. I did that with uh, like this one, you could, put some social bookmarks up here, all across here, and point them to all these blocks. All right, and you could do the same thing down here. 
So what would you do is you come up, if you wanted to add those onto this one, you would need to take a photo of it and build this. And to build it, because this already got a number and if you put something else to it, it's gonna mess it up. You go up here and hit new. You just name the diagram, whatever you want. I'm just gonna put test and hit okay. All right, and then basically you just start building out what you want. All right. All right, now, there's the diagram. Let's put it all together. So that, that's what this right here is. It's called a line, a link line. So basically you have to click it every time you want to do it, which sucks, but. And you want to put it the direction that you want it to go. All right, so there you go. That's a simple little diagram there, but you know, it, it's just to show you how to do it, how easy it is. It's not very hard and you can do it. So then you come up here and if you wanted to, you know, if you were done with this, you would hit save. You already named it and it will show up in your list, all right? The next thing is, is say you got a friend, he says, hey, I like that diagram, let me have it. And you wanna share it with them. You can come up here and hit share this diagram, get his email and you know, I've never done it this way, so I'm sure you get his email and it pops up with email and you can put it in there. Uh, probably your email pops up or something. I don't, I don't really know how it works because I've never done that. What I do is I just copy the, um, the links down and then I just send it to them through Skype or an email, but I don't, I don't, I've never used this. I never actually saw that until I started messing with this. But anyway, it, it probably works. I mean, I just don't know how it works because I've never done it, but I just send it through an email or Skype or, you know, something that I can get if it's a Facebook thing, I can send it through Facebook. All right, so those are some questions that I see in the, in the Facebook group, and I hope I helped you uh, realize that it's not very hard, it's fairly easy, and it's something that you can do. Build one for yourself and try it out. All right, so another thing is, if you don't own this program, I'll put the link down in the description. And you can either get it monthly or buy the licenses, and then that's a lifetime. All right, so when you buy the license, you get two. And you're probably thinking, well, I only need one, but really two comes in handy, and there's people out there that have 20 and 30 of them. Now, if you have two licenses and you only have one computer, you either have to get another computer or you can use a VPS. And Money Robot has a VPS that's set up for Mo Money Robot and it works very good and uh, it's not too expensive. So you can put both your licenses on the VPS and run them that way. Um, and I think they actually set it all up for you. Uh, I've been wanting to get that, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't pulled the trigger. I have, um, I was waiting for Starlink to show up to see if I really needed it or not. Um, a lot of people in my area are starting to get it and we signed up for it a, a little later than they did. So I'm kind of waiting to see if I want to still go with the VPS or I'll have enough power here because I live in a country and I don't have enough power right now. Anyway, uh, another thing is if you want a bunch of codes, diagram codes, I will put a link below and I will send them to you. So just click, click the link, follow the directions and I will send you a list of uh, some of the, actually some of the new diagrams that are out and uh, maybe you don't have them yet. So I hope I helped you out here guys and uh, we'll see you the next time.